Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. It is nighttime, and I'm going to be doing a second video on the heads-up display that I previously did a video on for the 996. I did not know I was going to be doing a second video, but a lot of people wanted to see what it looked like at night. So I'm going to show you how it looks when it first starts up, and I'm going to explain how it works in terms of setting up the clock and setting up the other menus. Very simple. Um, I'm going to tell you that now so that I don't forget, but I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and start it up so you can watch um, how it calibrates itself initially. Here we go. All right, so there it goes. And the way you set up your menus is you push the little wheel button on top of it you push it down and hold it. Holding it will kick it into menu mode. Once it's in menu mode, you can tap that wheel again, not holding, but just pushing down on it to scroll through the menus. Then when you get to the menu you want, you click that wheel from side to side, depending on which screen you want, left or right, until you get the uh, setting that you want. And then you push the wheel down a second time to save your select. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the lights on. And I think they have a camera set up so that you can actually see the dash and the heads up display so you can compare the values. Um, it's not bad at all, it's not too bright. It's about the same as the display in the car. So we can look at the values as we drive around. And I'll give you my assessment at the end, what I think, but I'm learning right along with you. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of driving. I'll try to keep my hands down out of the way so they don't like, you know, go up and block everything. Try to keep them down at the bottom of the steering wheel. Um, and here we go. So you can see how the miles power and the RPMs look on the, da on the dash and on the HUD and how they compare. And I noticed when I drove it last time during the day, that after I drove it for a little while, it seemed to synchronize a little bit better and it was only like one mile an hour off. And sometimes it was not even one mile an hour off. It was completely uh, the same. So, it's a pretty good little system. I do have it mounted down with the adhesive now. So I don't have to worry about it sliding around. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty close. It's looking a little bit off. They have different routes, I guess, of uh, supplying the information to the gauges. So it's not exactly delivered at the same time. And I think we should go a little bit more than 20 miles an hour to uh, get a feel for how it's calibrated a little bit faster. What do you say? I say yes. It was getting a little bit of wind noise there, so let's see. Eh, 40, 50, 60, who knows how fast we're gonna go. So here we go. Let's get a little bit of speed on it. And no, I don't get anything. Well, I actually I do. I, I have an affiliate link. And so if you click the link and buy one of these, I might get, I don't know, 50 cents or something, whatever. I don't know what it is. But no, I'm not affiliated with the company. I don't have any um, business interest. I just like good, cool stuff when I find it. And I like to share it with other like-minded Porsche people for those who might want to do something similar, if not the exact same thing. I mean... 
this is just to give people ideas. But I like this. So I've done a lot of work looking through different ones that I did not like. And now to get this one, I'm just tickled pink. So, this is my little HUD at night. For those of you who want to see what it looks like at night, I think it's a little bit dimmer than it was in the daytime because I think there's a sensor on the back that senses daylight and makes it a little bit brighter. And it's just, it's just clever. The whole little setup is just so nice. I just can't with it. And if somebody else gets this and actually likes it, then I, you know, making these videos was worthwhile for me because. I just like seeing other people happy with what they got. And because I'm sure happy, so. I just want to make one quick little video, one quick little run. This is it for this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut her down. I'm gonna let you see what it looks like when we turn it off too, because it kind of zeroes itself and then shuts off and doesn't shut off right away. It's just nice, any which way you try to turn it. So I'm going to, uh, let me see, let me go over here on the side of the road. <laughs> and turn the car off so that you can see what the screen looks like when it turns off and as a matter of fact I'll even take it off get a little bit closer out here here we go that's all right so I'm gonna turn that off turn the car off and you'll see how it shuts down cars off zero zero it waits a little bit and then so cool it doesn't just leave you in the dark it doesn't just go off immediately when you turn off the car it zeros and then poof <laughs> so sweet all right guys that's it thanks for watching as always have a good day and i'll see you on the next one